All right, squad, we are back in the building, and it looks like we finally got some tea on exactly what happened between Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Contessa in the offseason that really led for Dr. Contessa to be so angry at Dr. Heavenly. Then we got a, I got a viewer question about this situation with Toya's house, okay? So there's that bit of information. We're going to talk a little bit about that and the selling of the house and you know what it means and how it's going to play out on the show because Dr. Heavenly did say it was going to play out on the show. Um, with that being said, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell button, join the texting community. All of my links will be down in the description down below. We got other channels going on. We got the personal channel. We got a little pop culture deep dive channel going on. Just, you know, fun stuff because I love making content for y'all. So with that being said, tap into all of that and let's go ahead and get down to the biz naive. So I don't know if you guys happen to catch the latest episode of Married to Medicine. And if you did not, let me clue you in because Dr. Contessa is angry with Dr. Heavenly. So angry that she even refuses to speak to her in the first episode. Well, Dr. Heavenly is opening up about what the, what is going on with this situation in two spaces that you need to be aware of okay now the first space is obviously her youtube channel where she does you know recaps of married to medicine and you know sometimes other shows you guys are pretty familiar with what she does there and all types of other content she's getting into as well which is great to see but also she was on Reality with the King the podcast with Carlos King and so she basically goes into similar details about what happened between her and Dr. Contessa in between seasons that led them to be on the outs, okay? Because that's not really made clear on the show, to be quite honest with you. So um, let's, I'm going to, I'm going to go back and forth between what she said on Carlos King's podcast that's out right now. Again, both links will be in the description so you guys can watch and listen to both of them. But just to give you guys the recap you know, and, and again, the show doesn't quite make this clear, at least as of yet. I don't know if they will make reference to this these conversations at all. And I know that Dr. Heavenly said that she needed to say some of this for the reunion. So this will give you guys a little bit of backstory as to why Dr. Contessa went into the season so upset with Dr. Heavenly, I think, based on what Dr. Heavenly is saying. And let me go ahead and uh, put this down here because, you know, Dr. Contessa may have a slightly different story. So we'll just go ahead and put all content is alleged. All right. So the story remains pretty consistent from Dr. Heavenly when she described what happened between Dr. Contessa and she on both uh, the podcast and on her YouTube. She says that one evening she was having a conversation with Dr. Contessa. And as they had been doing in similar conversations, you know, she says that they used to talk just about every day. Um, and at the time, Dr. Contessa was going through it in her marriage and she was continuously dogging Dr. Scott out. Okay. She says that Dr. Contessa had gotten so long-winded on the subject that she had even put the phone down and then came back, and she was still dogging the man out. So, Dr. Heavenly, being the relationship coach that she is, okay, um, she said, and and she and for the for the relationship coach aspect of it, she uh, goes in depth on her YouTube page about the books that she's written with regards to relationships and that sort of thing. So uh, I don't know if it's coach or expert. Maybe she said expert. I think she said expert. So forgive me for getting that detail wrong. I think she might've said expert, but I can't remember, but go back and watch it. You'll see. Anyway, she asked Contessa if she could give her some advice. And she says that Dr. Contessa said, yes, I would love to hear what you have to say. And so Dr. Heavenly basically told her this, quote, if you're going to stay in the marriage, then shut the hell up. OK. Now, you guys know that I don't normally curse, but in order to really give you the, the nitty to the gritty, I had to give you the words and the verbiage that she used. OK. And she basically went on to say that, you know, 
she told her it's 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 really not wise to go on television and dog your man out, you know, if you're going to if you're not going to leave him. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to stay in the marriage, then you got to speak positively into him. You got to you got to uplift him. You got to, you know, speak life into the situation and you can't go on national TV and dog him out in the way, you know, not really dog him out, but you can't air your dirty laundry on television. And so then Dr. She says that Dr. Contessa said that um, she didn't put her business out there on TV and she got to crying and yelling and screaming and eventually hung up the phone. Now, um, again, I like both of these ladies, to be quite honest with you. Um, there's certain aspects that I feel like I relate to Dr. Contessa on, but I have to also admit that, you know, the details of their marriage did play out on reality TV on Married to Medicine. That's that's the honest truth of it all. And there is nothing wrong with giving your truth. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what is happening, that's what's happening. It's not like we haven't seen marriages on the show take a turn for the worse and then rebound for the better. I think people know that that's what relationships are anyway. And so from that point forward, apparently when Dr. Contessa hung up the phone on Dr. Heavenly, you know, um, because Dr. Heavenly let her know you did put your business out there and we wouldn't know about it if you didn't put it on TV. And after Dr. Contessa, you know, screamed at her allegedly and then she hung up the phone, you know, Dr. Heavenly says she reached out to her via text message and said, hey, listen, don't shut me out because she wasn't hearing from Dr. Contessa anymore. So when Dr. Contessa finally reached back out to her, she said that she was not shutting her out and that she was just taking some time to work on her marriage. Dr. Heavenly had also told her to stay off social media because apparently or allegedly Dr. Contessa was going at it with the people on Twitter, calling people idiots. And then she had also called Carrie Wells the devil. OK. Now, um, at that point. Dr. Heavenly says on both uh, platforms that Dr. Contessa stopped speaking to Jackie, Quad, her, Anila, and she mentions that she don't think she talked to Simone, but I, the way Dr. Heavenly speaks about Simone is like, basically, she felt like Dr. Simone is really nobody's friend. And Dr. Simone is allegedly a flip flopper who just goes wherever the wind blows. Um, she alludes to us being able to see more of that as the season progresses. But we'll so we'll have to come back to that. But. um. Yeah, so apparently the way that Dr. Heavenly feels is that I asked her if I could give her some advice. This is somebody I cried with. This was somebody I, I didn't speak a lot on at the reunion because I didn't want to say anything negative about. We talked all the time. We hung out on the weekends. So when I asked her if I could give her some advice, she apparently took the advice because she says then from that point forward on social media, she started to see, you know, I guess photos of her and Scott and that sort of thing like that. And, you know, just looking like they were back together. And then she, you know, didn't really comment on the relationship much further than that. So for Dr. Heavenly's perspective, she feels like Dr. Contessa took the advice, ran with it, and then got mad at her for giving it to her. OK. So then. Dr. Contessa says around the time, and we talked a little bit about this, but Dr. Heavenly said around the time of Allura's birthday party, she invited Dr. Contessa and her daughter, and she didn't think that Dr. Contessa was really going to come because she was, really wasn't talking to anybody. But when Dr. Contessa did come, you know, it was all good. They did the little 360 photo thing together. They, you know, was texting back and forth, you know, on occasion at, by this point in time. And that Dr. Heavenly, you know, Dr. Contessa gave her a hug and told her she loved her and that they were sisters. So for Dr. Heavenly, it was a surprise to her when two weeks, two or three weeks later, they started filming and she was told that Dr. Contessa was angry with her. OK. And so as she reflects back on the emotional abuse comments that Dr. Contessa made during the episode, 
you know, for her Dr. Heavenly, she said she was asked about it on her YouTube channel and she felt like based on what she saw at the reunion, how Dr. Contessa really kind of shrank into herself visually when Dr. Scott came around that it felt to her like there was some emotional abuse there. So then she also indicates on P Carlos King's podcast that Dr. Contessa tries to get physical with her and put them paws on her. OK, um, she says you see a little bit of that in the preview, but she does allude to it getting crazier on both her YouTube channel and on the podcast. OK, and she was literally in tears, almost in tears on the podcast, talking about how much she loved her. At least uh, Carlos King alluded to the fact that he could see her. You know, when you do the car, the just a little behind the scenes, when you do the podcast with Carlos, it is visual. Um, but it because it is a podcast, you will only really hear it on those podcast platforms. And then we get usually a, a visual clip, you know, to promote the episode, which really makes a lot of sense because Instagram is a visual medium. Right. So that's why that's in my mind. That's why it's done that way. He's no one's ever said that to me, but based on what we see, I can only imagine that that's the case. Right. So anyway, having said that, she talks later about quad on the podcast about quad being needed for the show. And she says she felt like she kept bringing her name up because, you know, she felt like she quads energy was needed and she felt like they almost had no choice but to bring quad back. Now, when asked to speculate about why Quad was demoted, and again, we, we want to emphasize the term speculate, she says basically that Quad, she speculated that it was because Quad wasn't coming on time and she was wasting those people's money, okay? Um, so when, when Carlos asked if she could give the same grace in terms of, you know, speaking up, up for and, and recognizing the need for Quad on the show, if she could give the same grace to Mariah, Dr. Heavenly qui pi quickly pivots and just basically gives a very generic scenario where she says, listen, if someone was working for me and they were bad mouthing the people that, you know, that that, ma that make the paychecks, OK, that, that that sends out the paychecks, you know, what would you expect for the company to do? Now, again, she made it very generic when she said it, but in my mind, okay, in my curious George mind, I said, well, hmm, was she alluding to perhaps perchance that this notion that perhaps maybe allegedly Mariah might have said something disparaging about production? I really don't know. Okay. But anyway, um, when when Carlos asked, you know, if she thought that Toya was good for the show. She says, yes, Toya is great for the show. Where else you going to find another bee that's going to get on TV and sell her dream home to rent another one? So, you know, they were both trying to kind of theorize why this happened. And Dr. Heavenly says she's gone over this in previous YouTube videos. But it was interesting to me because I had gotten a question from a commenter on my YouTube, not my YouTube, my Instagram page. And I blocked out the person's name because I don't know if they would want to be recognized on another platform. So that was just a courtesy. But if you didn't mind, my bad. So they asked, DJ Richie Scott, I would love for you to elaborate a little more on your thoughts about Toya selling her dream home and moving out to a rental and paying more for the rental since the rental got the elevator. Then purchasing land for double the price it was when she built her last home and now about to build a home that she is about to pay double the money for because of the economy now. I live in Georgia and the price of homes and land have doubled and tripled. That move that Toya made was the dumbest ever, according to this person. I would love your thoughts since you are getting your license and getting into real estate, which is the truth. I've taken my class, my exam for my class. I was scheduled to take the exam for the the national and state exam, but I ended up getting sick. So I couldn't go that week and I just haven't rescheduled it because I had travel and some other obligations. And then my birthday is this weekend. So um, I just didn't want to have anything I, I needed. To, I, need, I need to take the test when my mind is clear. OK, and my mind will be clear after my birthday. Now, getting back to this question, I said my response was. 
Well, Dr. Heavenly does indicate in her YouTube video that this is going to become more apparent to us as we continue to watch the season so that we should just continue to watch and then we will see it all unfold. So I am going to reserve judgment on this. And she said this, some, something similar on the Carlos King podcast. I'm going to reserve judgment on this because, listen, you never know why people are making the moves that they make. Um, and yes, the a lot of things have gone up in price, especially now. And then with inflation being where it is and interest rates being where they are now, um, yeah, but when she bought the land, I'm not sure what they were at that point in time. So I don't know. We just have to wait and see how it plays out. Um, uh, but from my understanding, even people who have been in real estate for quite some time and who understand the ins and outs of it even more so than I do at this point. And um, listen, I'm, I'm, I feel good about it now, but nobody seems to really understand why this move was made. So that's going to have to play out on the show a little bit. And then I feel like I'll feel more comfortable giving you my thoughts on it based on what we see on the screen. OK, um, so I know a lot of people have questions and I know a lot of you guys have your own theories. And if you do place them in the description down below, listen. Um, I don't think that there's anything wrong with theorizing why something might have happened in this situation, mostly because it's playing out on the television. So if it wasn't a storyline, I really wouldn't care that much about it. But because it is a storyline, now I want to know. OK, um, with that being said, make sure you guys keep it locked onto the channel. I'm going to try to work on doing the College Hill review um, today if I can. There's a lot going on today, tonight with Beverly Hills and Dubai. So I'm just like trying to get a lot done, but we're going to work it out and I will catch you guys in the next video.